tidal energy, it's predictable, but it's something that we can actually rely on schedules for, such as the orbiting of the moon. The energy is out there, it's how you design your devices to harness that energy. Humans have long used water to create power, from the earliest inventions of water wheels and dams. But now scientists are engineering smaller machines that can withstand the forces of the ocean to provide a renewable energy resource. Tidal energy is creating electrical generation by taking the energy out of the moving water. Moving water comes through the turbines. Much like a sailboat is propelled through the water, there is a drag force on the turbines that generates torque onto the generator that creates electricity that we send to a shore station via transmission cables. It's a very similar concept to a wind turbine, except you're underwater. So the force that comes from water is much higher than what comes from air because the density of water is higher than the density of air. However, it's much more difficult to put anything in the water. You're putting metal into a corrosive environment. And you put something in a harsh environment and it requires maintenance. And that shows it rotating out of the water for repairs and for demonstration. Tidal energy does cost more than electrical energy. It's hard to make an economic case for it because we have so many locations where grid energy is readily available. In locations where you don't have grid energy readily available, so in remote locations, a tidal energy installation may be more economical. ORPC is a company based in Portland, Maine that makes turbines for ocean and river applications. The company is currently working with a remote village in Alaska to supplant its need for diesel power generation. The price of electricity in these remote locations globally ranges from 50 cents to a dollar and a half a kilowatt hour. And just by comparison, that can be up to 12 times what people pay connected to a traditional grid. And that cost of electricity is so high, it prevents a lot of economic activity from occurring because all the money is going to pay the, the electric bill. Secondly, there's a significant environmental risk in using the diesel because it has to be brought in through multiple transportation channels. Um, there's a risk of spills. This market need to serve small, remote communities drives the team at ORPC to design systems that are modular, easy to assemble, and low cost to maintain. I think there's several things that make us innovative. One is the design of our technology. We have a relatively low profile, so our turbines, there's more of a rectangular space in the water that, that they take up, so it allows us to get into shallower water, so we have more site opportunities. Secondly, we design so that our systems can be put into their locations using locally available vessels, equipment, and labor. It also is a wonderful way to involve the community in the project so that they feel it's theirs. ORPC is not the only company making tidal turbines. Globally, the industry is coming out of its early years of, of product development, environmental data gathering, and beginning to line up its first customers. And you'll see more being developed globally as these first projects are successful. This year is a pivotal year for ORPC. And what we hope to prove this year in, in Alaska is that we truly have a commercially viable product. We're, we're designing for a 20-year service life, so fatigue is a major consideration as well as expected degradation of the materials in the underwater environment. To deploy our, our devices in these rural remote communities is, is our market right now. It's our immediate market activity that is going to help us drive down our cost. But ultimately, our technology will be deployed in any setting, whether it's an urban setting, a community setting, um, anywhere in the world, even the most developed markets. The need for renewable power is growing around the world, and ORPC believes that marine renewable energy can be part of the solution of tomorrow. Marine renewable energy is, is ready right now in order to, to, to take a more central role in achieving a middle carbon microgrid solution. We're here as part of the community. We have future generations relying upon what we do right now to help solve the problem that they're going to be facing very strongly in the next couple decades. Hey NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here.
and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.